Hi guys and welcome to the CPAP Mama. So now that you've gotten set up with your CPAP, now it's time to unpack it and get it set up in your room. So let's unpack the bag. Okay, for my example here, I use the ResMed AirSense 10. So when you open it up, each has um, each part of the machine has a compartment, okay? So we're gonna open this part up, take the motor portion of the CPAP out. I'm gonna go ahead and set that right on my nightstand. And then you're gonna open that up and you have your humidifier chamber, which will still be in the packaging, okay? So we're gonna take that out um, before you use it. Of course, you're gonna open it up and you're gonna fill it with that water. It's recommended using distilled water. I always fill mine to the halfway mark just because I have discovered if I overfill it, I get water in my tubing and up in my mask, which is never fun. So let's just take this back. So how you put this in is you're gonna, well, I'll show you this way, the back of the unit, you're gonna hold it and slide it in. So here's the front, okay, I'm just taking it out sliding it in like that. Okay, that's gonna go on my nightstand. And then um, in this compartment down here, it shows you, you have your power cord and you have your mask. Okay, so this opens up your power cord. What I wanna show you is it's gonna have this Velcro that keeps the cords all together, okay? So you're gonna have this power block, which I always recommend putting this on the ground just because it will get a little warm. Um, now, in the past, I've had it where um, I've had my machine show like an error and it was because this part of my power plug wasn't pushed in all the way. So you want to make sure that's pushed in all the way, okay? So this end of the unit for power cord, is gonna go to your CPAP unit, okay? Now, again, this power block is always gonna sit on the ground and I do wrap up that excess so you don't have all this cord. What I do recommend is that you just take it and kind of wrap it up just so you don't have all this excess power cord to be tripping over and you can use this Velcro. Again, that strap just to to wrap it up. Now, if you don't have a plug close, you will see I do have a power strip here. You don't want to have a lot of things plugged into your power strip, okay? So one or two items, if that, okay? Oh, and of course I did this a little too tight, so I'm gonna loosen that up a little bit because like I told you, I really want that power block sitting on the floor. Great. So then we have our mask. Okay. And then the number one thing that people forget is this compartment right here because it has a zipper. Okay. People always forget about that. This is where your tube is stored. Okay. So when I get everything home, I always recommend go ahead and hooking everything up. So it's going to attach there. And then you're going to take a look for the heated circuit and you're going to line it up and you're gonna snap it on, okay? So I always recommend when you're using your CPAP to have it in the upright position. It does have a swivel, but I find that that's the best way to have it. And again, you wanna have it on your nightstand here, okay? So this way, Okay, it's nice and level to your bed. And then what I like to do is take my mask when I'm not using it and hang it up like that. Okay, you guys? So that's how you set up your CPAP when you get it home. And I hope you guys have an awesome night. Now, don't forget to put your CPAP travel bag in a safe place because when you travel, you're gonna need it. All right, you guys, have a great one.